10 on your side investigates disturbing school video that we've been covering all week. It compelled a mother to file assault charges against her son's principal and special ed teacher. But as we showed you at four, the school's PTA is standing by them. Investigative reporter Chris Horn has the case of a local mother heartbroken and outraged by what happened to her special needs child, Chris. Tom, seven-year-old Eric Chapman has ADHD. His mother, Latasha, admits she had a hard time believing him when he told her about being pulled, dragged, carried, and locked away at school. But then she saw the video. And tonight, two experts give us their takes after they saw it, too. Seven-year-old Eric Chapman likes to play with cars and the rest of his toys at home in Virginia Beach. But in first grade at Rosemont Elementary last year, he was the one being dragged around like a rag doll. Here, it's Eric's special ed teacher, Allison Williams, as Eric tries to hold on to his chair. Every time I just watch it, I just get so upset. I was doing something on my tablet, and they came in the room, and I was on my chair, so they took the you know, off of my chair and um, lifted me up, and then they holded me. In this case, it's the school's principal, Carrie Ann Hall. If you watch, she never goes into the room. She goes immediately to the floor where he's laying on the floor. This is her physically restraining, putting him in this hole, dragging him off aggressively for no reason. That's his special education teacher holding her coffees. She never spills her coffee. Latasha Holloway says her fears were confirmed when she got this school video through the Freedom of Information Act. My son was being assaulted. The school system says Eric was an ongoing risk for himself and his classmates, that Eric would run from the building. And he was disciplined eight times last school year for defiance, insubordination, physical abuse, and harassment. Then Holloway confirmed what Eric had told her about where they were carrying him. They locked me in the room. It was a seclusion room, the kind we've described in our investigations into seclusion and restraint. Holloway wanted time logs for what's called the quiet room when Eric had been secluded and for how long. She says she's still waiting. A school statement says Eric would be placed there for no longer than 10 minutes at a time. We also showed the video to a child psychologist who specializes in children with special needs. This is not correct. And I think most people would say it's not correct. This is not what you do. How do we deal with a child whose behavior is a problem? Um, it's not carrying them off. It's not uh, seclusion. It's not restraint. I mean, all the things that it seems to look like here. Katz says when a child has special needs and problem behaviors, it's up to the school to work with the parents and come up with a plan to meet those needs. I don't get a sense that there's any uh, planning going into this or any um, thought, mindfulness about how, what do we need to do the, for this child? But the administration says its efforts to provide services for Eric were hindered because the family was often unreachable by phone. But Holloway says she sent ongoing emails. We also showed the video to one of the leading attorneys in the country for special education law. His firm has handled hundreds of special ed cases. When they were dragging him by his arm, he's a, he's a small kid. A little kid like that, those arms come out of those sockets pretty, pretty quickly. Cuddy says under federal law, teachers can put their hands on a child only when the safety of the teacher, the student, or another student is involved. So what about their training? The school system statement says it offers teachers and principals online training and behavioral intervention. We wanted to know whether Hall and Williams completed it. The system wouldn't tell us, saying it's part of their personnel record. Eric's mother says the seclusion has already left him with psychological damage, and Katz is not surprised. He's afraid of being in rooms by himself. He's, all the doors in my house have to now stay open, mm -hmm. and he would get really upset if you go to the bathroom and close the door while he's in the bathroom. It's a possibility. I've seen that. I've seen that with other kids. And Cuddy says when other students witness what you are seeing in this video, they get traumatized too. All of those students are going home and telling their parents what they saw that day. And in a sense, it has a traumatic effect on them. Holloway went to a magistrate late last month and filed a citizen's complaint for misdemeanor assault against Hall and Williams. And the principal and the special ed teacher have a court date next week. The Commonwealth's attorney office told Holloway this morning, though, it would not pursue charges on her behalf, but informed her that she can still pursue those charges on her own. District's human resources investigation found that neither Hall nor Williams was trying to hurt Eric. 
We have their entire responses to our questions about Eric on Wavy.com. Meanwhile, Holloway has taken Eric and two other children out of Rosemont Elementary. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.